Good morning, Twin Cities. Up, uh, Adam. I'm Jack Tomczak. That's Andrew Lee. Good morning. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. The show, as always, produced by Lump. Good morning. Gross, gross. Lump. In studio, Congressman Tom Emmer. Hey, good morning, Jack. Good morning, Tom. Happy Friday. Isn't that just two more working days till Monday? I, uh, I can't wait for the week to start. <laughs> you and me, Tom, I, I suppose, of course, looking at, I've never worked for you while you're in Congress, but I've worked for other Congress people before. Probably is, there's no break on Monday, there's no break on Saturday, it's just you're working all the time. Yeah, no. Although we'll have Sucks. a little, we'll when have you're a little not working, fun. You're traveling. Yeah, no, we'll have a little fun though tomorrow afternoon. Uh, oh yeah, tomorrow, we will. What are we doing? Uh, well, you're more than welcome to join me, but uh, you remember, give you remember Paulson a wedgie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you remember my son Bobby, the blue-eyed wonder. Uh huh. Uh, he graduates from Minnesota State tomorrow afternoon. Oh. Congratulations. Good yeah, to Bob. No, nope. to you Bobby. because now that that bill goes away. Uh, listen, a, how many my, kids do you have? There's a bill now? Yeah, no, my kids are doing what I did. They pay their own way. So. Good, excellent, yeah. good. Congratulations. Uh, that's that's nice to hear uh, because we the the stories that we get, and I I agree with the idea that college has gotten way too expensive. But uh, the the stories we get is like it's insurmountable and impossible, and of course it is not. No, it's not. But it, you know what? If you don't have skin in the game, Jack, if you're not looking at the bill yourself. How are you ever going to grow up? How are you ever going to figure out the value of a dollar and, frankly, the value of what it is you're paying for? So well, That's their long game. That's, yeah. that's the plan. If you never grow up and you never learn the value of a dollar, you'll be a Democrat. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Pan philosophy. Yeah. nice. But listen, we're, we're, we'll help them, right? When they need stuff and we got to help, we do that. But I think they should actually and I think that's, be responsible that's, for it. That's you know? the way it should be. Uh, you, you know, you're there to help. There, if, they, if they fall down, help pick them up. You know, they find themselves in in a bit of an emergency or some sort of strife. Help them out. I mean, of course, you're their parents. You're always going to do that. Always going to have that that instinct and that urge. Uh, but for the most part, day to day stuff and and getting the value of an education. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. They well, I, they need to earn that and 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 learn what that means. I look at it just a little different, Andrew. It's not about them. I I just. I got to do a little bit because I'm going to need them. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> I mean, the way things are going, we're all going to be living together. We're all going to be sharing our health care. It's all going to be a wonderful family thing about 20 years from now. Yeah, make make friends with your kids while they're young, and right. hopefully they'll remember you Yeah, when you're not. There you go, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how many kids left left at, at home at this point? Two. Oh, yeah, I know. There's a light. Well, it's like quiet. At the end of the tunnel. It's like quiet, and I got a poor dog that's on his last dog days that, uh, oh, God. Uh, it's going to be sad in our house. You guys are down to two kids, and it's quiet, and I got two kids in my house, and I'm losing my mind. Yeah, well, well, yours I, are tiny. Just oh, go back. a big difference. Yeah, just yeah. go back five, six years ago. I had nine kids and two dogs at one point. I so. had no kids. Nine kids. <laughs> Seven <Miles>. kids. Nine <laughs> people. <laughs> wow, it just grew. Jackie's going, where did those other two come from? Yeah. <laughs> Well, when you have that many, it's easy to miss a couple. <laughs> well, they're a town. It's easy to forget them. You know, you might have left them at a Walmart or something. Uh, you're not sure. I, that's going to make some fact check thing. <laughs> Ember's two mystery children. Yeah, you're not telling you the truth. <laughs> Where are Tom's other two children? <laughs> Investigation on Camus PP tonight. All right. Uh, yeah. uh, so this week, a lot of political news happened. Uh, uh, Ted, Cruz. was there? Was there a lot of? I caught some of it. Did you on the radio? Uh, Ted Did you see that Trump, uh, the Trump uh, uh, protesters or supporters, whatever, with the uh, Cruz, the video? The... Oh, uh, Ted Cruz was talking to one. Yeah. I saw that video. Yeah, that didn't go so well. Apparent, no, no, and it that wasn't was, enough. It was the last act of his presidential campaign, oh, apparently. Oh, was it? Yeah. Okay. It's... Somebody just showed it to me, uh, I think, yesterday, and I was amazed. I was thinking, why did you do that? Now that makes sense. It's, yeah. it's, it's tough. And probably ne not a good idea to engage no. with an angry yeller. And you're trying to be ha have the polite, thoughtful conversation, which I think Ted Cruz is trying to do. He was. But you're not going to win that one. Even if you win that one, you're not going to win that one. Right. Yeah. You, you can prove that person wrong all day long, but it doesn't matter. No. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Don't get into a mud with a uh, pig because they well, like after, it. Don't, like no, it's, it's don't wrestle with a pig in a mud hole because after a while you're going to realize the pig's having fun. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like Donald Trump is the Republican Party nominee or he is. presumptive at this point. Right. Uh, I, Andrew, they, 
with Donald Trump, haven't we learned don't predict anything? Huh? Huh? Um, unless you're predicting that he's going to win, because that's basically what he does. That's uh, basically what mm-hmm. he's all he's done. If you, that that's usually a safe prediction. I should have said everybody else has dropped out. Yeah. So barring uh, some insanity at the convention where they, you know, he doesn't get the 1237 on the first ballot, and then who knows what they do on the second ballot. Mm -hmm. I don't see that happening at this point. Did you just say barring some insanity at the convention? I thought all conventions had some element of insanity. I I mean, you don't know what's going to happen. They do, but they keep it under wraps. (laughs) Do they? Most conventions, you know exactly who. who, You clearly haven't worked the floor of a convention before. (laughs) Uh, well, that's you know who it's going to be, you know. Yeah. We, oh well, that yeah. We were at the last one, and we, you know, we knew it was it was Romney's convention, and it was Romney's coronation, and it's a bunch of speeches talking about how great Romney is, uh, and that's usually how the. I don't remember Chris Christie's speech being about how great Romney was. <laughs> well, okay, most of the speeches. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, I don't mean to play the devil's no, no, no. advocate this morning. No, I'm no, not no, the it's fine. I'm fascinated though, uh, you know, going into this convention now that it is you know it's trump's convention and everybody's sort of you know the all the and all nobody's the, coming all the, who, who the hell's gonna speak at this thing i wonder i, don't know. I mean i don't how, know what sort of a, what sort of lineup of speakers are they gonna get you can assume like chris christie will be there right he's been on board with trump for ever since he dropped out yeah uh, he'll probably he'll be there standing behind trump right right <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, yeah standing like there this looking like a kidnap victim uh omarosa <laughs> on the television show and that's it. Huckabee will be there. Mm-hmm. He's been on the. Uh, he's been uh, with Trump since he dropped out. Maybe Sarah Palin. Miss Sarah Palin will mm-hmm. probably speak. Mm-hmm. Like who else? I mean, Tom Emmer. I'm going to go. I wanted. I was going to see the uh, insanity, uh, and now you know we'll see what happens. But I think you're right about the presumptive. I think it's pretty much over, mm-hmm. except all the singing. And I'm disappointed. I, I, w- I was. Ex- I wanted a an actual convention that we see all the time. State level and, right. and 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 more local, but never on the national stage, at least in my lifetime. And I was excited to see that, and I uh, think we're going to get it. No, no, yeah. but we'll see. Yesterday, uh, Paul Ryan, Speaker Ryan, came I've, out. I've heard of him. Said he is not ready. He's not ready to support Donald Trump. Interesting. It, that is interesting because the timing's weird. And I know he was responding to a question. But, you know, if you had concerns about Trump as the nominee and you're the Speaker of the House, one of the leaders of the party, uh, one of the figureheads of the party, why didn't you speak up sooner when it might have made a difference? I think he did. I, As I recall, I think uh, his former running mate came out very strong, which, uh, again, if you're in the arena, if you're uh, you're running for the thing, I, it made more sense to me. Not sure why he stepped in when he did, mm-hmm. uh, former uh, Governor Romney. Uh, but I thought right after that, I thought uh, Paul Ryan. It didn't. He wasn't as strong, but I thought he kind of echoed this those sentiments. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah. And I, I I'm not recalling that. That doesn't mean it didn't happen. But the difficult spot you put your in as a elected person or leader of the party is if you do give your opinion. And it's uh, the one that Paul Ryan has is it's it's never going to be greeted with well thank thank you right thank you for your thoughts. It's going to be uh, more of this top down back room dictating to the grassroots how we're supposed to feel when maybe it's that and maybe it isn't. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Why anybody gets in politi- involved in politics is beyond me. All right, let's take a break. More with Congressman Tom Emmer.